Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Sheldon from Gypsum Animal Hospital. And today we have Mr. 12 Gage in for his third round of chemotherapy. 12 Gage had osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer. And our goals with chemotherapy and 12 Gage are to try to keep it from spreading to his lungs and to try to keep it from reoccurring at the same place where it was removed. And in general, when your pet has cancer, you basically have three options. You can cut it out, surgery, you can burn it out with radiation therapy, or you can poison it out with chemotherapy. And what we're trying to do is, um, is extend his quality of life and, and the quantity of life. And with some forms of chemotherapy and some forms of cancer, we know for a fact we're going to get X amount of time after we treat them. So other other forms of care of cancer, the chemotherapy is a little less proven. What's the matter, 12 gauge? So dogs seem to tolerate chemotherapy a lot better than people do. They don't lose their hair because they shed. Their hair grows in a different cycle than ours, so they don't lose their hair. They seem to suffer maybe a day or two of malaise and, and nausea after chemotherapy, but they don't seem to get as debilitated as people do. Um, and most of the drugs we use for chemotherapy are the same drugs that we're using on people.